how to optimize this mesh for game. That goes into production stuff, which, uh, boy, that's a whole other mess. We'll get to that eventually, <clears throat> sometime. Yes, you'd have to retopo. If you want to do it right, you would retopologize hard surface objects. However, if you're working smart and you're using, uh, essentially, if you want to make a game res, I mean, this thing's essentially almost a game res as is, but if you're working and you know you're going to want to cut something in into the game res like this right here, you could use live Boolean. Let's go ahead and do Control Shift A. We'll go ahead and split this off. So, for example, uh, let's go ahead and say it's dynamic, crease level of three, smooth level of four. So let's say this is your high res here, but you would want to cut in these holes and this line and all this stuff up here. If you wanted to have this show up in your game res, then I would just build it in. So this right here is nearly uh, ready to go game res. You might have, you can collapse some edges, you can optimize this a little bit, but a lot of your work's already done. You know, like this stuff here, you can just go through and inset, uh, oops, edge, insert single edge loop, hold down alt, and get rid of like any extraneous loops, you can go through here and you can like collapse these. So we can like maybe try a collapse poly loop and just collapse these in to get rid of those extraneous uh, poly loops there. So you can be like, let's, let's optimize this a little bit. Uh, this one's not gonna work because it's got a cut right, th oh yeah, it should. There we go. There you go, so you can go through and optimize this a bit. However, I think maybe even here, you know, I built those in so it's smooth correctly, but you know, if you're just doing a game res, you don't really need those, then feel free to optimize however you'd like. But this is all built in. If I had used live Booleans to cut this in, then yeah, I would have to be like, well, how am I gonna, you can decimate it down, that's fine for hard server stuff sometimes, but um, you know, just work smart. And like, um, if you had little greeble detail, like if I hit D and on here, I, and you know, this isn't gonna smooth correctly because I got rid of my control loops there. Let's go ahead and put those back in so I don't feel bad about it. Um, so now that we have this, if we go in here, just like say BI brush insert Boolean and we grab, okay, I want greeble detail. So I'm going to go through here and this is all just going to be uh, information in the texture. Now you can also work smart here. You don't have to put it in ZBrush. You can just stamp the stuff later on uh, non-destructively in your texture. That's fine. Uh, but for example, let's say we want to do like an array of these things. So we'll turn on array mesh, transpose lock size, hit W. I'm going to hit Y so I can use the transpose line. And I'm going to drag out, hold down shift and drag these out. I'm going to go into repeat and just crank my repeats up using transpose here. And then I can, um, I can scale these down if I want to, or I can just move them in like so, so I can kind of space these out. And again, if we're using live Boolean here, we can go through here, we can make these subtractive. And so now we're stamping that detail in. What I would do is I would process this for a high res. So I'm going to go here to geometry, uh, not geometry, subtool, Boolean, dynamic subdiv, make Boolean mesh. So when I'm processing these, you can also under Z plugin, go here to Bo live Boolean masters. It gives you a little bit more control uh, as to how it does its live Booleans and how it treats the start groups. Also the new folder system that ZBrush showed on Friday. Oh, it's already eight o'clock. Ah, okay, it's the last thing I'm going to show. So I got to work out. I'm trying to get back into my routine since I didn't work out for like three months straight. Um, so uh, if you are going to bake this out, you can throw the, oops, this is your uh, U-Mesh. So now this is going to be your high res that you bake to. But for your game res, if this is just live Boolean, just turn it off. Like you are gone. And then hit Shift D. And then there's your game res. Clean it up a little bit. But yeah, you don't use live booleans when it's smart you if it just and you build in and z modeler when it's smart um to save you time later on <clears throat> now that's the, you don't have to you can use dynamesh you can be creative you can just do whatever you want and then later retopologize everything or decimate it down and bake it all of that stuff we covered i want to say last time um, and also I go through that process in the sci-fi weapon pistol series. I decimate down and then put that into painter and this speed modeling and texturing. I do ZBrush, decimate it down, throw it into painter. A lot of different things in my um, live streams here, full episodes, this little Bible thing right here. We went through Houdini. The Houdini game dev tool set will automatically make you a game res UV it for you, bake your maps if you want, throw that into painter if you want. So uh, I've done it quite a few times. So I'm going to... Go to my streaming notes here, and we're, we're going to wrap this up. So any other questions, I'll throw on the next. Uh, complex hard surface retopology. Do you retopologize by hand, or do you keep some lows during the process and reuse them in optimization? Yeah, so what I try to do is I think about um, if something is going to be modeled eventually. Let me see if there's a good example of, like, 
something's going to be modeled in, I try to just like do Z modeler and actually model the shape. Uh, but if it's just going to be like little greebly stuff, let me just do an example real quick. So for example, cylinder 3D here. And we'll go ahead and say make polymesh 3D. So yesterday we talked about mesh fusion. So we'll do, we'll do that again. We'll do a quick um, group by normals here. And we'll do an inset polygroup island region. And on here we can go into, so two different ways to use Boolean brushes. Brush, insert Boolean M. So I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? Let's do this. Subtool, duplicate this off. Hit W, go into solo mode. I want to borrow... Again, we're just kind of retreading some stuff we've already talked about, but we're going to unify here. So I'm going to say U. Uh, you can also, if it has clip, hold on, tap control, it'll I, temporarily go to visibility, delete hidden, brush, create insert, whoops, brush, create insert mesh new. And then now we can, can, uh, we can delete that. Go back to our cylinder here. Now with mesh fusion, you can drag that out and you can even move this away, control drag, and it'll make those things work together. You can also hold down Alt and have it go in here, and then it'll resolve that for you. So if you just run a crease tolerance and dynamic, now you have very complex shape. So if this complex shape here is something I wanted to game res, uh, then I would just make sure it was modeled in, that kind of stuff. And so I would go in here and it's like, okay, it's going to be in the game res. So I'm going to bevel. It's going to have a big, uh, heavy bevel on here. Or we can do a heavy bevel on here, and we can go to insert multiple edge loops, interactive elevation, and we can actually round this off a little bit. So if this is all going to be game rest stuff, and we can like crease this edge loop complete here, Bing, well, something like that. So we can have a rounded edge here, and then a creased edge here, and this is all going to be in the game model, then I would do this. However, if you're going to do stuff like brush insert boolean m... Uh, say this kind of detail here, and let's go ahead and do a split on mass points, make that uh, live boolean here. So it's like this kind of detail, it's going to like be baked into the object, and you hold that control. You can even make an array mesh out of this if you wanted to. But like this stuff is just going to be baked into the texture. I'll make it a live boolean, so I can go in here and I can say boolean, dynamic subdivision, make boolean mesh. This will be my high res that I bake from, and then my game res, I just go you're gone. Here's my game res. And you can optimize a little bit where it's like, you know what, this is my game res, but that little piece right there doesn't have to be modeled in. You can make that a live Boolean. You can also go through here and you can just say collapse poly loop and you can just collapse that thing up and then go through here and just collapse these. Whoa, you may have to do it one by one. So it'll be a little bit of optimization in here to go through and just kind of, you know, do your usual polygon optimization to go through and collapse edges and stuff. Uh, and also getting rid of extraneous geometry. Sometimes you can use geometry, edge loop, delete loops, depending on your angle threshold, and it'll get rid of extraneous loops for you. So 